in the second last episode of Game of Thrones, The Bells, many loyal fans of the series were mortified and even outraged at the actions of the mostly beloved Daenerys, who in a moment of pure rage decided to not only burn down King's Landing, but everyone in it, women and children included. While her actions were certainly horrific, if there ever was a case of foreshadowing giving a viewer every possible hint at what's to come, this was it. Let me explain. Foreshadowing is defined as a warning or indication of a future event. In literature, this is typically an event early in a story that helps a viewer or reader develop expectations about a later action or reaction. In cinema, there are examples in just about everything we watch. In order for an audience to accept a character's actions, we need not only justification, but some indication from their behavior earlier in the story that provides a basis for those actions. In the movie Heat, Robert De Niro's character, Neil McCauley, shows a pattern of getting back at those who have wronged them. So we aren't completely surprised when he makes the entirely irresponsible and ultimately fatal last second decision to delay getting out of town safely in order to track down a former member of his crew that ratted him out. In a television series like Game of Thrones, foreshadowing plays out over many episodes and even seasons. Despite the increased tension between him and his sister, Jamie always returns to Cersei. John always does a noble thing, and Littlefinger, well, he's going to Littlefinger. In some cases, like with Daenerys' vengeful burn everyone who wrongs her temperament, it's played out repeatedly, almost to the point of overkill, no pun intended. Add to that the well-repeated history of the Mad King and the other, shall we say, unstable Targaryens, and I think it's safe to conclude we had all the foreshadowing we could ever expect in regards to how Daenerys' storyline would conclude. So when Cersei decides to have Daenerys' best friend, Missandei, brutally murdered right in front of her, and that shortly after Daenerys seeing a second of her dragons killed, I have to ask, how do we expect the Dragon Queen to respond? Did we really believe that when the bells tolled, she'd just smile and have Tyrion drape a mission accomplished banner over the Red Keep? No, because that would have invalidated everything we witnessed about Daenerys, and it would have cheated the viewer, even if that's what we really wanted. The copious amounts of foreshadowing of Daenerys' true nature throughout the Game of Thrones series made it clear that the would-be Queen of the Seven Kingdoms was always destined to be the Mad Queen. Thank you for watching.